My name is uh, Ralph Clayman. I am a professor of urology here at the University of California, Irvine, uh, also uh, Dean Emeritus. My area of focus is minimally invasive urology and specifically kidney stones. Today, kidney stones are treated in a minimally invasive way. So, when I initially trained as a resident in urology, all stones were done by open surgery. So if you had a stone in the ureter, you got to cut in the lower abdomen. If you had a stone in the kidney, you got to cut about this big in the flank to get to your kidney, which is about this big, to get to a stone that, this, that is this big. It just didn't make any sense. Unfortunately, minimally invasive surgery came around. So we can take a stone out now literally the size of your fist through a hole in the back no bigger than the tip of my finger. That's called a percutaneous stone removal. We can take out smaller stones by going up the ureter with a small endoscope to make no incisions at all and treating it with a laser fiber that is as thin as a human hair. And then some stones, uh, if they're particularly soft and not too large, can be treated with extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy. Uh, and then they just break the stone up and you go home and you pass the piece. So all of these treatments are minimally invasive or non-invasive. So if you have a kidney stone and somebody says, well, you need an operation for this, an open operation, you go, uh -uh. nix on that. I haven't opened anybody for a kidney stone in literally three 